uh, before that, we also, by the way, the pandemic is over. We'll get to that in a second, according to Dr. Fauci. Um, first, this is we confirm this is real. Right. We confirm this is real. We're sure this is real. So. I watched this and I thought, well, this must be a parody. And that's how you know the left is beyond parody. When it took us about 30 minutes to do some research, that means looking through this guy's LinkedIn, looking through his Facebook, looking through his TikTok, going, is this an actual thing? Turns out it is. And uh, he wants to apologize for the way white people look. White people don't make no sense. I'm here trying to gear myself up. And, you know, hot myself up to go up into work. That seems so fake. I thought I put on some of yes. my lip it's gloss. Not. This yeah. is my Morphe one. Oh. Tastes like sour babies. Good, Good for his dad. I'm sitting here rubbing my lips together, and I'm like, well, shit. I ain't hardly got no lips. You ever seen a Latina in her 50s look like she's in her 30s? Because I know for a damn fact you've seen a white woman in her 30s look like I've she's in her 50s. seen a Latina in her 20s look like she's Half 50. Time, yes, white I... folks hit 30 and they lose their damn chins. Just, just up and lose them. Really, anywhere from 20 to 50. Yeah, I mean, I ain't 30. trying to make nobody <laughs> mad, but I mean, shit. A lot of us out here looking like bony ass meat sacks to me. It's just you. <laughs> Who decided we were the elite? On behalf of white folks, I want to apologize to everyone because we must be a deluded bunch because we done convinced ourselves a whole ass lie. He sounds like Zach I mean, Elfinak is doing the effeminate this racist. This really yes. don't make no sense to me. <laughs> I'm over here feeling ugly. Yeah, in a wet bandit's toque. Yeah, it just... <laughs> man, I just... All I'm saying is when the neighbors moved in, my property value dropped. I ain't trying to say nothing wrong. Who said that we are the elite? And then he goes, on behalf of white people, trying to insinuate yeah. that he's a part of the elite, like he's he's a hipster SEAL Team 6. Right. Yeah. Look, look. No one is saying that you are elite. Now, insert any other race with what he just said. White people look like bony-ass bags of meat. Black women look like big-ass bas- bags of meat. Can't yeah. say that. No, it would be awful. And just, I, look, I'm just trying to look normal. I'm putting on lipstick. I'm painting my nails. My nails black? <laughs> I, I got a dangly cross ring. I got this hat that looks like I'm in Life Aquatic with Steve Sisu. Yeah, what's going on here? And I will say this. Having twins, this really do- I was just talking uh, with, with Pops Crowder about this yesterday. And you, have a, you have a son, but I, I have, do. you know, young boy, young girl. Okay. Yeah, I am a twin. And I, I love them both dearly, but you have yes. a twin brother. So with one yes. boy, one girl, I said, look, I am going to, there's always going to have to be some untraining, some sort of deconditioning, right, from society, especially if you understand the world we live in. With my, and there needs to be balance for both of them. But with my daughter, I know that I'm going to have to correct the record that says, you are beautiful, you are perfect, just the way, you are. What, no matter what it is, if she's anorexic skinny you're beautiful you're perfect if she's overweight blood type pudding you're beautiful you're perfect if she works you're beautiful you're perfect if she doesn't work you're beautiful you're perfect that's what that's what the message is and i know that i'm going to have to decondition my son from being bombarded as a piece of shit for something he has no control over because he's a white male no one is going to be telling my young white male boy that he's fantastic you're great just the way you are it's the only subgroup of people whom you actively tell they need to change something about themselves, which is immutable. Now, of course, I want my daughter to find her self-esteem and her values and her accomplishments, how she treats people. But no one is perfect. No one is beautiful and perfect the way they are. And no one's a piece of crap just because of how they were born. And it really is something that I think about a lot. And that guy just echoed it in a deeply disturbing way. Yeah. And if anybody's telling your white kid that they're beautiful and perfect, just be like, look, the, the stranger has candy and don't get it in the van. Right. That's the only person who's interested. Yeah, exactly. Not they sure. really don't like white young men. It's, it sucks to say. I mean, because there's so many people that get mad when you say that. Right. But it's true. Like, this guy is just going on there to tell you that white people are garbage. I know. And he's white. <laughs> Why? Yeah. Well, this is why you have, you know, older boomers. We talked about these statistics the other day. All the references are available at ladderscredit.com. They were more racist. Then you had a dip with Generation X and older millennials, our generation. They were the least racist. And then you had it go up again with younger millennials and Zoomers. Why? Did, did we all of a sudden become more racist? No. What happened is there was a divide and conquer and the left said, we need to reawaken. We, we need to refan the flames, the fire of racism, in order to gain votes. That's what happened, and that's what you're seeing here. When we grew up, we didn't even think about it. Fre- the biggest shows, from The Cosby Show to Fresh Prince to Family Matters. You'd have Family Matters you'd have right next to Patrick Duffy on Step by Step. That's the, that's the white and black cookie. Well, no, it's because 
young guys who are white come up. Let's say you're white and you see that guy. Yeah. Well, you hate him and you hate the people that he's siding with. Right. And then the black and people hate him too. Yes. Yeah. So, so it's pretty much his fault. It should be unifying. Yeah. That guy. Yeah. Everybody should hate that guy. Yes, exactly. There you go. Common ground. <laughs> Watch Louder with Crowder live Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.